Warning, the following podcast contains violent scenes that may be unsettling to some listeners. Listener discretion is advised. The murder of a scion of Ra halts the progress of the sun across the sky. In response, a group of strangers are unknowingly brought together by their divine heritage to investigate the crime. A Light Extinguished is a Scion 2nd edition story, with Joaquin as a storyteller, Chris playing Hassan, Craig playing Nick, Mitch playing Gary, and Slavic playing Jesse, and a story supported by Onyx Path Publishing. If you'd like to reach out to us, you can contact us on Twitter at twin underscore cities underscore VTM, or on Facebook at Twin Cities by Night. We hope you enjoy. All right, so yeah, Detective Johnson returns with the cell phone of Bayamari. Do you I'm want sorry, to look can, through it? Yeah, I don't know. It might just be easier to, you know, get in contact with some of these people. I mean, is it okay for me to touch it? I don't want to interfere with police business. She uh, looks through and she's like, um, can't use, actually use it. We can, uh, yeah, here we uh, have it, we had it unlocked. Uh, yeah, so she like, you can see it like, on the phone, you can see the numbers. But you can't actually like open the bag and use it. Oh, so like it's it's like using it through the bag sort of yes. thing. Okay, so it's like those the button ones, not like a like a touch screen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I guess I like get to her phone book and take out my phone and take a picture of it. Mm-hmm. So just make sure that the picture is readable. And All right. Kind of just give it back. All right. So you got everything you needed. I I think so. I got to talk to the others, see what our plan might be but this uh investigation stuff is kind of cool yes cool yeah i can see why you like it Mm-hmm. it's nice being on this side of the law for once yes my friend it's good how does that shirt fit in you yes the shirt fit good no yeah yeah it's a little tight but you know it makes you look more uh you know buff strong uh, not that you're i don't need before. any help with that <laughs> All right, so, so what was what your game plan? Young man, you say you got phone numbers, yes? Oh, uh, Gary, what do you think we should do with the... Uh, what do you think we should do? Young man said he had an idea. Do you think it's a good idea, Gary? I don't see why not. Do you want to call this lady? Uh, see if you could uh, set something up. I'm sure you got experience with uh, such things, right? Yes? Yeah, let's do it. You're going to call Jennifer? Yeah. You I, call the number? I give Gary the number. All right, so you call it. It rings. Yep. It goes straight to voicemail. All right. Hi, Jennifer. This is uh, Gary Stockwell. I'm calling in regards to a developing story that I'd like to possibly interview you on. If you could give me a call back at, insert my number here, uh, I'd really appreciate it. I'll even buy you dinner. Thanks. Take care. Click. All right. Uh, so you do that, and now what do you do? I think, uh, yeah, I, I pat uh, Nick's shoulder. I'm like, uh, good idea, young man. It was a very good idea. Maybe uh, some of these other uh, people could be good to interview in the meantime while we're waiting for her. Well, the the, the representative yet say that um, Francisco is having lunch at a restaurant. You want to go check out this place? I'll drive. Is Gary buying dinner for us, too? <laughs> I'm not that wealthy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sure, maybe? sure. We'll we'll uh we'll split a nice big uh gourmet McDonald's meal. What do you say? Maybe we uh get per diem. Per diem from uh Officer Johnson. I'll look at Officer Johnson, nod her way. Uh no, that's a no to per diem. I don't think her look doesn't Yeah, yeah she just look. gives you a stare. <laughs> uh I drive. You save gas money, I drive. You want me to drive? You can get a ride in my ca- uh my taxi. Yeah, you want to go sure, my taxi? Sure, let's take a ta- a taxi. All right. No, uh, he's a taxi driver. Yeah. You uh yeah yeah I'm a taxi driver so I'm a taxi right there so all right cool well, we get in I start the car like uh you like uh, rock and roll I like Queen you you like rock and roll yeah go to go to insert station number here that yeah. was at the best stuff all right and I turn it on and I just like start playing the music as I take off and I drive to the restaurant where Francisco was going to be meeting the victim uh, Nick will bob his head in tune with the music during the ride. I like American rock and roll. Uh, in, in Baghdad, American rock and roll is like, yes, yes. Everyone, ACDC, Queen. Yeah. You know, yeah, Rush. Yes. I yeah, love it. Queen's not American. They're British. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, I, I, excuse my ignorance. You know, and Rush is Canadian. I know, not American. But there's some good American bands. Guns and Roses. I love Guns and Roses a lot, too. Welcome there to you Jungle. go. 
Yes, yes. Uh, Jesse here looked like you like some rock and roll too, right, Jesse? Yes. You rock and roll type? Oh, yeah. But, you know. Uh, yeah, last time, well, they confiscated all my radios and uh, uh, I haven't been able to listen to something in a long time. Uh, too much uh, fast music, fast women in the rock and roll, right? Too much? <laughs> You got that right, Hassan. I'll just keep driving as we get to this restaurant. All right, so you drive up, and it's you know it looks like it's pretty empty because as you look at the sky, the sun is still at the noon position, even though it's been like a couple, like an hour or two since you since you got up the morning. It's still the noon position. Has the one cloud moved yet? Yes, it's gone now. It's no longer in the sky. Is it summertime, Phoenix? Uh, I'd say it's uh, early summertime. So it's mm. hot, but not. Not the worst heat. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, you want to talk to Gilly? You want to lead, take lead, talk to Francisco? Yes, yeah, I bet Absolutely, he, uh, I'm happy to do so. Uh, I say handle lever uh, situation delicately, yes? You uh, know? Maybe, we'll see. I trust your judgment. You're a good man. Don't you handle all lovers delicately? Uh, Not if you're good at it. Not as if you had dead skin. That's my concern. Uh, perhaps it'd be less intrusive if, like, all of us came and insulted him. Maybe we should kind of spread out throughout the restaurant. Yes, that's a good idea. Uh, you want anyone go with you, or do you want us just to sit around? To just you... keep an eye on me. I'll, I'll go in on my own. Okay, I'll do that. You be careful, right? Not a problem. Okay. I think I'll stay alive, probably. Yeah, so I'm going to, like... Okay, yeah. I'll, what's the restaurant like? Like what? Uh, like uh, so it's you know it's an authentic Mexican restaurant, but it looks very empty. Like there's like a couple of people here in booze, but like it's very quiet in there. Like it's not. It's, I guess you know it's around. It's around like early eleven o'clock. Mm-hmm. So like it should be. There should be some people in there, but it's like very quiet. I'm gonna walk in with the three after he after Gary walks in. I'm gonna buy the two with me lunch. So I'm going to buy Nick and Jesse lunch. They look like they could use the lunch and uh, on someone and uh, just kind of eat and listen. to. All right. So you two, those are you three are like off and pretending you're not with him. Yes. All right. Yeah, I'll they go do- in first and maybe they'll follow like a couple minutes after I come in or they'll right. go in ahead of me and then I'll come in after them. All right. So better. Gary, you look around and you see, uh, yeah, you recognize him from from previous meetings that like you notice or recognize Francisco. He's sitting at the table where there's like drumming his fingers on the table. Okay. He's, he's like a very well dressed, sharply dressed uh, in bright, you know, gem colored clothes, you know, a col- a first couple of buttons on a shirt are done open. He's got like a couple of, a couple of, some jewelry on him, like a couple of rings and a necklace. Okay. Very flashy. I'll walk up. I'll pull out a little notepad. Excuse me, you're uh, Francisco, right? Yes. Is this hey, about yeah. I's death? I heard about it on the news. Uh, well, actually, sort of. That wasn't the original plan for the piece that I'm writing, but since I heard about that, I'm you know either going to change track or incorporate it. Do you have a minute to sit and talk with me? I just want to you know get your uh, thoughts on the matter. Yes, yes, yes. Why don't we talk? Yes. Great, yes. thanks. So uh, what can you tell me about Bye? Oh, I can tell you many things about Bai. She's she was a, a beauty, absolutely a Middle Egyptian beauty. Honestly, she she was from from the country on originally. So then she moved here back in oh say uh, I want to say two thousand and three. Then she then I me- I met her back around two thousand ten ish. Oh, we were we were I was re- I've recently been uh been recognized as my father's son, the the, the god uh Hoichipitli, the the old son, of, god of the sun. So uh, I, at the time, she had been already recognized by her father, Ra. I was like, I thought at the time I was overwhelmed to meet another scion. But then, and at the time, I, I was we I was with the different people, but even then, I knew she she was a beauty. And so yeah, I was with well, who was I with? She was uh, some woman named Abigail or something. And she, I was talking about uh, yeah, we I think I met Abigail in Greece. No, it wasn't. Well, no, it wasn't Greece. It was Italy. And we what, what were we doing? We were swimming or something. He goes off on a tangent about this, and so he you can try to like get him back on track. Yeah, I'll try to redirect him. So you and Bai were both signs of sun gods, then, right? What? Uh, oh, oh yes, yes, all of us were in our little group. I think. All of you were? I I don't know about Jennifer. Bye didn't talk to me about Jennifer, but but yeah, uh, it doesn't really matter. You know. She... Well, well, no, I I'm kind of curious. Um, I've heard a little bit about this Jennifer. What can you tell me about her? I mean, I 
I'd love to meet her. Do you have any way of knowing, you know, do you know where she hangs out anything like that? Oh, I don't know anything about her. No, no. She's, she, she, I, from what I got, she, I think she, she's like European or something. I don't know what her guru god was. She, I don't really know. It, it's really important because we just, he always seemed a bit dull to me. And so always just like, always clinging to buy like a hen, like a chick under her mother's wing, whatever. So yeah, then I think, the first time I met her was me and Bai. We were talking. We were at some concert or something, and I had just come back from a concert or something. And then Bai like brought it. I'll call us all in together to introduce her, to make make peace, make friends. Uh, like I said, she was dull. I didn't really want to talk to her. So yeah, yeah. What made her so Wait, dull? Do you th- do you think she did it? I've got she, no she, idea. No, she. Oh, she must have done. Oh my. She well, no, 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 come on. Now, let's not jump to conclusions here. I mean, I started this out just wanting to do some profile. Well, I know I didn't kill her. I love the woman. You know, and she looks around like we had a, we had times together. And, and, so, and you know, it, it could have been me. Times? It could have been Kieran. That had a hot head. I mean, yeah, he's a hot head, but he's, not, he's got no, he's got, but it's all in the wrong direction. He's always so angry and discipline like ugh, it's, well Kieran, Kieran he's always angry right so he was yeah uh, but he's Irish, always right? been like, yeah yeah he's like the, the sign of Luf there's the Irish sun god or whatever I don't really know too much about it it's kind of removed from the he was, yeah he was always just too abrasive no, he didn't have any of the free he didn't have any of that passion just anger uh, but yeah so yeah then Hikaru yeah now it could have been her either. She's she's they were like they were like this. They they weren't anything like what I had with her, but they were good friends. But yeah, uh, it had to be Jennifer then. It had to be yeah, it totally had to be her. Well, what makes you say that? I mean, just because she was quiet and dull, or well, I mean, who else? I just told you it can't be me. I love the woman. I I even was buying her jewelry the night she died. I mean, that's if you want that. Tell the that's the police that that's my official well, I mean, alibi. Statistically speaking, you know that you are more likely to be murdered by someone close to you, right? Well, so Jennifer was trying to get close to her. That's the whole thing. I just told you. Well, trying you know, to, I but brought her into it. You were already close to her, so I mean, oh, please, you don't obviously you didn't know us. You you were a reporter, right? You must have seen us at other events occasionally. We... Oh, absolutely, absolutely. That's why I'm kind of curious about this. I mean, I was originally just going to do some profiles, but. Uh... You know, now uh, that this happened, I, I you know I'm following a new lead here. All right. So, <clears throat> hearing all this um, blaming of Jennifer's, I want to see if I can kind of redirect to that and not not like, jump in on the conversation, but kind of like I I've, I've, I got a pretty good view of him in, in the restaurant, and just judging from how he's been um, acting so far, he he's, he seems really quick to me to blame someone else, and he's really quick to bring up his alibi. So I want to see if I can maybe. See if I could tell if he's lying. <laughs> All right. So give me a, I would say, cunning or manipulation. I'll, I'll take I would accept cunning. either cunning or manipulation and empathy. All right. That's seven. Oh, one success. <laughs> With one success, no, that would have been at least two successes. You needed, yeah. uh, so with just one, you'd be like, yeah, he's telling the truth. He's he's just, you know, he's, he's really such a love mouth. He, he probably just, he just talks all the time. Uh, can I try it? Yeah, either cunning or manipulation and empathy. So I got five and cunning, and then I have four and empathy. So I'm going to try it. And I need two successes, you said? Yes, at least two. At least two? Okay, let's go ahead and give me a second here. One success. Two successes. Yeah, again, you like this guy, he's, this guy, he's like, he's, he's, jab- he's jabbers too much about yeah. it. So you, would, you can definitely tell, though, like he's like, even for him, like he's like, he always wanted to make sure, like it's not. He doesn't really talk about him and his relationship. He doesn't mention that at all with her. I kind of lean forward on the table. He's like, he sure talks a lot, but he doesn't seem like a killer to me. And kind of whisper to the other people at the table. Hmm. Uh, yes. So with two, you definitely tell, like, yeah, he's deliberately not wanting to talk about you know his current relationship. He's, like, he's basically like, don't blame me. Like, here's some. He's a more likely suspect, and I have an alibi. Don't blame me. That's like his. That's like the main goal of his blabbermouthing. Hmm. Okay. So back to the conversation with him then. <coughs> Excuse me. So now, like, I mean, how have things been between you and Bai lately? Were there any tensions? I mean, were, was there oh, any Oh, I guess it, 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 it's nothing, really. We just, uh, no, I guess it's, 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 but it is too much time with that dull girl. And so, so we, I got a little heated a couple of times because. Okay, define a little heated. Um, I did. 
break that one base at one time. But 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 it's nothing, honestly. Oh. And and like I said, I just it's not that I'm jealous. It could be because I'm jealous. I mean, it sounded like you guys had a pretty uh, unique relationship situation. Yes, and well, one that's I, more or less prone to jealousy or that sort of thing. Some tension here and there. Well, it's not my fault. She was spending so much time with that with that dull girl. I mean, uh, I I can't control who she sees, but we've been I've been with her for years by this point, and this dull girl just comes in and uh, it you know, it doesn't really matter. She doesn't really matter. It, well, no, she does. Yes, it's because buys dead, buys buys dead, and you need to find her. She she probably is the one who killed her. Well, was there any romantic relationship between uh, Bai and this Jennifer? Well, none that I can prove, but I have my suspicions. You have your suspicions. Tell me about these suspicions. Well, I mean, just they spent so much time together. I mean, they were always talking and everything. But, like, no one talks that much unless there's something else. I mean, look at me. Do you think I would? T- well, not with you, of course, but unless you're interested in that. No one talks that much, you say? Not without uh, leading, not without wanting something more out of it than just talking. So does that mean, uh, are you interested in something more? Hmm, well, quite possibly. Let's uh, let's but, talk oh, more no. about. <laughs> oh no, no, I, I no, I shouldn't be doing. It's this a very much. emotional time for you. Maybe I should just give you my number. Yes, 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 yes. yes that would be that would be, that would be perfect. Yes. Well, here, here's my card, and as I hand him my card, I'll you know I'll do that whole lingering skin contact thing. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you give me a call and we can meet up for drinks at some later date. And if you think of anything more about by Jennifer or anything that's happened recently, why don't you just let me know? You know, give me a text, shoot me an email. Okay, yes, I I will definitely do that. You know, accidental nudes, whatever. <laughs> I like your humor. That's so too too many people feel like they have to be so serious all the time. I mean, we're we're living, we're alive. Gotta feel the passion, let let the fire in you out. Don't I know it? I mean, look look the sun. Oh, yeah. Well, the sun's not just to be doing that. Oh, whatever. It's probably my, my father doing something. Something I don't know. It's your not, father, my father. Who knows? Yeah, it's someone's doing something with the sun. It's probably nothing. Well. I... Uh... It's not moving. I think that's a little more than nothing. <laughs> uh, yeah. They see like his smile sort of like fades off that. I was like, "Well, where's my food? I ordered food like two, like two twenty minutes ago. Where the hell is my food?" Uh, maybe they're all out watching the sun or something. I don't know. But hey, look, I got to run. It was great chatting with you. Yes, I look yes, forward yes, yes, yes. to uh, our next encounter. Oh, have you? Oh, yeah, have you ever been to Egypt? By the way, it's, I, I just went there last week. It's a lovely, lovely country. Nope, I have. I can't say that I have. Try it. You should next time. I'm going to have to talk about this later on. Yes, yes, yes. Well, oh, I hey, need to get um, my food in. What out of curiosity, hell? do you know where we could f- where I, I could find Jennifer by any chance? I have I have no idea where the hell that girl is. I, where I, did she and Bai meet? Uh, I don't know. Bai just come out to introduce her at one point. I don't know how the hell they met, really. They, it just said, like, she, she just introduced her, said she was going to be part of the group now. It's, uh, it's whatever. It's, it's whatever. Okay. All right, well, thank you. Enjoy your day. I will try. I will try. And as I leave, I'll talk to... Is there a bar in the restaurant? Uh, I'll say yes. Is it currently open? No. Damn. Okay. Then I'll just head back out to the cab. <laughs> yes, drinking at 11 in the morning. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, it wasn't going to be for me. <laughs> <laughs> so when we get back in the cab... I'm going to go, good good work, my friend. Good work, good work. You do very good. Uh, uh, I don't, don't recommend a relationship. He seems a little, you know, uh, uh, quick to anger. Yes, I don't want to see I'm not an idiot. idiot. Okay, okay. A little flirting I, goes a long way, though, regardless of who it's with. I understand. Yes, yes. One idea I had to find Jennifer, lady, is uh, we can meet up and try to call uh, that Kieran. Uh, Kieran, yes, Irish guy. Have uh, we get the phone number and we could have Jesse talk to Kieran, you know, Jesse angry, Kieran angry, very similar, yes. And um, you know, maybe we find something else. Would you, would you, would you like idea, Jesse? No, yes, uh, yeah, uh, sure. I'll talk to this Kieran, just try not to fight him, all right. Well, I mean, I can't fight him over the phone, he's a scion, he'd probably kick my ass. All right, so you're gonna call up Kieran, yeah, probably. Yeah, who's, who's, who's talking? 
Jesse. <laughs> Alright, so you call him... Yeah? Who, who, who is this? Oh, my name's Jesse. Yeah, so... The fuck, the fuck you want? I, I'm in the middle of a basketball game right now. I don't give a fuck. See, I'm looking into this murder of one of your friends yeah. by Amari. L- listen, I don't really have time name, for this. I, 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 I no, got, I got you game. have time for this. Shut the fuck up. Where are you? Don't, don't, basketball don't, game. Shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Where are you? I'm at this park. I'm at the basketball game park at this, at this park. You want to you you take this here? I'll meet you yeah. here. Yeah, I'll meet you there. What the hell just happened? I think we uh, said don't fight him. Well, <laughs> uh, well, I set up a meeting. <laughs> did you just schedule a rumble? You totally did. I mean, there's four of us, so I, you guys can just jump him. That Are escalated quickly. That escalated too quickly, my friend. But eh, that's how we talk him down. <laughs> I'm going to start driving to the basketball court. <laughs> Fuck, I'm wiping the tears off my eyes from laughing so hard. Yeah, I'm drive uh I'm gonna drive to the basketball court. Uh, you know, just be ready guys, you know, when he's going after me, make sure to hit him like in the back of the head with like a bat or something. No, no, uh, no that no way violence. he can't see it. Violence just does nothing. And I turn on like it from the aggressive rock that we have on to like that <laughs> or just some like R and B to like oh, Yeah, geez. just <laughs> Just to kind of make him relax a little bit. Relax, relax. Wish I had a beer right now. <laughs> All right, so you drive up to this park, and you know, it's like a, you know, it's like this little, uh, there's like the grass area here, and there's like the whole, you know, basketball concrete area, and there's you see like a group of people like all around this around the uh, basketball court. See like people watching, and there's like it looks like a shirts versus skins game. And you see like this one guy, he's like red hair shirt, he's uh, shirt off. He's like just, like, just, like dominating the whole thing. He's like moving, weaving in around the players. Like a, like a nothing. Well, seeing the obviously Irish sun god haired guy, I'm and so of... you, and you see, like you know, even though like, like his skin should be like being sunburned from the heat, from the sun, he just looks fine. He just looks just a sweaty yeah. guy. Yeah. Um. Nick is kind of like fiddling with something in his pocket, and he pulls out a little guitar pick and turns to Jesse and says, "This is a little lucky charm that I kind of carry around. If something does go kind of bad, it might keep you safe. Should I stick it in his eye or something?" Maybe just keep it in your pocket? Yeah. You're so nice, Nick. I mean, it's brought me luck. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, thanks. Yeah. I'll keep it. Uh, I just kind of sit there. I'm like, I just get out of the cab, open the door, and I stand, like, looking over the hood at whatever's going to transpire. <laughs> You're not getting too close? I'll go, I guess I'll walk close, but like if there's like a fence around the basketball court, I'll go to the fence. Like I'm going to watch the game, but also try to hear the conversation that hopefully conversation that. <laughs> have. All right. So as you, who's, who, who else approaching and who's like staying back? I'll hang okay. back, but I'll get out of the car to keep an eye on things. All right. I'll kind of like approach, but I'm, I'm not going to like, I'm going to kind of try to seem like I'm not involved with uh, Jesse as the approach. Cause I don't want <laughs> I I kind of want to get involved in the rumble. Exactly, but I'll stay by the fence, and if something does happen, I try to get my buddy out of there. All right. So Jesse, you 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 walk up to this, you know, this game is like really intense. It's like you know, even though the, all the people are like trying their hardest, you know, they're sweating, they're panting, but like this one shirt, this, this guy, you see like a couple scars, you know, like a, like around the chest, one thing like going down, like down his leg into the past his shorts. Like muscular guys, he's like just moving all around them. He's like just throwing hoops, throwing balls, like into nobody's business. Yeah, I'll sort of yeah. Jesse will sort of whistle, you know. Hey, Kieran. Yeah, what is it? Talk to you before. Oh, you're the prick on the phone, huh? Yeah, that's me. What, yo, here, you here to get something? Uh, mate, here to here to start something? I'm just here to talk to you. Oh, now you want to talk? Well, yeah. Well, I can't. I I got this game going on right now. Okay, just a couple more shots. Can I join the game? Actually, throw a couple oh. hoops. All right. I'll say yeah. You could join in. I'll say give me a dexterity. I'll, and I'll try to. Oh. And and athletics to see if you can you know, try to get a score on them or something. And you know what? I'm going to try. I'm going to use my 
path since I was like an orphan living in the street. So I assume uh-huh. we just played street ball, whatever. Mm-hmm. To add two dice to this roll. And if I get enough successes, I can make a twist of fate. All right. So make let's that roll. see. Okay. So just two successes. I'll say two successes. Yeah, that, that, was, that was the minimum you needed. So mm-hmm. I'll say they don't get any twists of fate. Yeah. But. Shame. But, you know. And so, yeah, with two successes, I'll say that you manage to you know, get the ball and you manage to score against him, which is which is like a bit more than most people have been able to, other people have been able to do because you, you know, because you're right now you're on the shirts team. He's skins. I start clapping from the side and slowly stop clapping. <laughs> 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 All right. Oh, you got some skill in you. Yeah. 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 So what, Holy shit. Your sign's so really you something. About? Look, man, we've just been. It's, I've just been, you know, it's, it's been like this fate thing where I've just appear near near the oh. sea, and I just, so do you probably you with? know what I'm talking about? Who are you with? You I sort of like point out Hassan specifically, you know. Oh, so you you want to go? You want to one of the kids of that, or what do you want? What are you here? Who are you with? Look, I, I'm just these guys. I mean, I've got really no idea, but look, uh, if you. I assume you didn't do it. You seem like a stand-up guy. You know, my kind of guy. Uh, it's just, you know, just answer a couple of our questions and whatever, and uh, then we can both move of our merry way, you know, maybe grab a beer and talk this all over. You see him, like, stand up and just like, all right, all right. Uh, make it quick, and you owe me a beer for this. Yeah, all right, guys. Yeah, yeah. I'm good for all it. All right, guys, I'm leaving. He tosses the ball back. Do whatever you want. I'm... Jesse is not good for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then you see him like walk back to put a shirt on. Yeah. So, what do you want to talk about? Well, we already know basically that there was this whole deal with oh, what's his name with Anna Wilson and you know Amari. Uh, the other guy, Francisco. Oh, you know about that? Uh, they do whatever. I uh, I don't know how they do it, but they do it that way. What, you got a problem with that or something? I don't have a really a problem with that. We met up with Francisco. He seemed really shady. Yeah, what is that guy not shady? Yeah, you, you know something about him? Yeah, it's, he's been harping on about that trip to Egypt he did last week. Then he's talking, trying to say how he tried to go there to like reconnect with Bai, trying to show off to Bai how he he's like got in contact with her roots. He's making the effort to try to get to know her or something. Yeah, he seemed real into her. Uh, he seemed real jealous of this Jennifer chick. But you know something about her, by the way? <sighs> Not really. It's. Uh... Look, look, I, I don't, I don't want to talk about. She spent all the time with, with Bai and, and. What? No, no, it's just. It's fine, uh, man. I, I, you know, I'm no snitch. You got to give me a, a role for this, trying to like get him to talk about this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, would this be like persuasion? Yeah, I would. I would accept presence and persuasion or manipulation, presence. either or. Okay, so. Give, fine. give me at least uh, three nice. successes. Oh, schmuck. Yeah, that's unlikely, but let's try it. And you know what? Let's use our... If everyone agrees, you know, with it, we can use dice from our momentum and basically add it onto this roll. So instead of five dice, I'd roll seven dice, and I'd use the two points in our momentum pool. I'm I'm cool with that. If everyone else Everyone has to agree with it, though. I agree. Yeah, yeah. The the two I gave you is just for protecting you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Still very unlikely, but yeah, just That's two what... successes, unfortunately. All right. So, uh, unluckily for this, it's like, yeah, no, no. You try, you try, and like, and it's like, no, 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 no. It's it's just that that I I I've been. Uh, it's like, no, I I. I yelled at her too. I yelled at her all the time to try to get things get get not be so soft. But what do you mean soft? Well, like like with the Jennifer girl, like yeah, she she, she would like she took on everyone uh, under her wing, like every every one of us. Yeah, I heard her. about that. I heard I told, of army told, of like, science. When you're when you're like us, it, it the more you 
mingle with others like us, the more likely some dumb prophecy thing or some old rivalry will get get you caught up in the mix, and it it will get you killed if you do if you do that enough. And I told her that she needed to be more careful about this, but she just wouldn't. She, she <sighs> yeah, I, I think I read about that in like the newspapers or something. Fate binding, they call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, you know how when if oh. one of the gods gets too open about what we do, it's you get everyone gets caught in your tail. No one wants to. No one wants to be you know the guy who gets screwed over by the gods or I sort gods of get screwed over this by done. us. Uh. Yeah, I have that's... a feeling we're all getting screwed right now. Anyway, you I'm know where we could find this Jennifer chick, or no idea. I I don't really know her. She like I, she and Bai, they were the ones well, who always like I guess it was like it was kind of everyone's time, honestly. With uh, do you think Hikaru would know? Hikaru, what what do you think? What do you think she know, she she was the one who did it? I have no idea. I just. Because so there was I no way that. she would be doing it. She, she, no, she and Bai, they were they, not. They weren't like close, like how Francisco was. But they they were they were close. Oh yeah, I yeah. That's basically why I wanted to talk to her. You know, maybe she'd know something about anything else. <sighs> you can try. She's back at her place. She was over in Japan. Right. She just got back from Japan, and she, when uh, she heard the news, and I haven't been able to see her all day. Right. The way uh, we found some dead skin in Amari's place, it looked like burned off, like by the sun or something. You know, you you, you know anything about that? It's, uh, dead skin? <laughs> no, don't know anything about that. It, maybe she took a chunk of whoever attacked her or something. I don't know. I mean, she could do that little trick thing with her fingers with the fire, but maybe that's what did. I don't know. Trick thing? Uh, no, you know, just a scion thing. Okay. So did she, like, burn someone? Or what do you think? She would never do that. No, not not unless she was, like, f- fighting off her attacker or something. She she was, too, like I said, too nice for her own good, honestly. I had to take a few... I had to, I had to step in a few times when she wouldn't... She was too soft with someone. I had to... Uh, well, yeah, well, thanks for talking with me, you know, uh, if you, you know, just think you could help us with something or anything. All right, yeah, uh, hey, number. if you ever find out, if you ever find out who did this, let me know, I'll join you and take them down. Sounds like I a want deal. in. I'll bring the beer. All um, right. Yep, yep. Sort of slap him on the back. Good game, good game. Not too bad. You, you're not, not that bad. And he like sends you off, and he goes off on his own. Yeah, I sort of call the team, relay the information, you know, say that uh, we might have a scion on our side if if shit goes south. Wait, you you got a friend by trying to start a fight with him? <laughs> Hell yeah, that's how I get like all my friends. <laughs> well, okay, I don't have that many friends. But, uh, yeah. good job, Jesse. Good job. You do good. I like. Uh. Cool, cool, uh, Nick, Nick, when we speak to this uh, Hikeru girl, you seem like uh, same age, yes, yes, uh, you not in common, yeah, no, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm young, she's probably young and good looking, so uh, yeah, I'll definitely talk to her. <laughs> there you go, yes, yes, and no fight, you don't need a fight, yeah, no, maybe yeah. we can get some sushi, that's oh, that, that yeah. seems like something she'd do, nice, nice. Oh, um, Jesse, you give back pick, right. Yeah, that's what I wanted to just, you know, do right about now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Thanks, just, man. Just hold on to it. You might need it. Ah. Uh, As Nick is uh, going through his pocket where there's a bunch of women in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one thing, uh, Gary, uh, you see if you agree, Um, the burns. She she burned in self-defense. There'd be marks of, uh, of uh, a struggle. You know, we look for burns when we talk to people from now on. You agree? Oh, yeah, I agree. Good, good. So when you talk, you look for burns, Nick, and we all look for burns, and we see. Uh, it just seems like trouble. It seems like this uh, she trouble, bringing all these people around her, and they all want to, to make her happy. Oh, I don't know. You want to call? 
Sure. Yeah, I'll I'll get out my phone and uh, I'll dial up uh, Hikaru's number. Hello. Uh, hello. Is this uh, Hikaru? Yes, this is. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Sorry. I'm Nick. I'm me and some of our pals are looking into the thing with Amari. Thought maybe you might have some information. I see. Is there some place uh, we can get together and talk? You can just come over to my place. It's it's it'd be fine if you just talk here. I I don't really want to go anywhere. It's just hard. Are you are you all right? Yeah, I, it's it's just hard knowing that she's not longer with us. Yeah, uh, I, I I can see how that can. Okay, we'll we'll be right over. Um, you, you don't mind if I bring friends, do you? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, no, it's no. We're all we're all very concerned about this Amari thing, and I mean, I I just kind of found out it might we might be more involved in it as well, and if if someone could take down a scion, then what chance do we have? I don't know. We'll be, we'll be over. Uh, all right. All right. It's, it's, it's fine. Yes. Okay. And Nick will hang up uh, uh, after getting her uh, information of where she lives. All right. I'll start driving once he gives me the information to where she resides at. Turn back on the rock and roll. Make things a little bit yeah. more positive. Sound um, a little somber. Uh, like Nick's um, attitude kind of took like a 180 after the phone um, phone conversation with her and like the rock and roll, even though like it's something you normally begin to is like just doing nothing for him. Nicholas, Nicholas, you know, one way I learned where I lost my family in Iraq, how you how you should be. Yes, is you should celebrate life, not mourn the life. Understand, like we have privilege to to still be alive and enjoy things like rock and roll. Uh, so we should, in memory of those that we love, they would want us to enjoy what we have. And if we don't enjoy what we have, it would be disrespect to the gifts that we are given. Yes? Yeah, I know. It just, like, I kind of expected a different sort of answer. Like, everyone else we talked to so far seemed, like, a little loud and obnoxious. This does not sound like like a fiery sun sign like the rest of these were. Mm, I don't know her her god. Maybe different, or maybe, maybe it's a sign of so concern that we should pay more attention to this one. Yes, maybe. Yes, we shall see when we get there. Uh, you take lead on this, and uh, we listen. Yeah. yeah, sure. I can. I'll, I'll talk to her. And Nick's feeling really bad because, like, just previously he was joking about how cute she could possibly be, and like you feel just kind of somber now. We need to see if we can get a picture of this Jennifer. Yes, she seems very elusive. Like her friends don't know where she's at. How how do they not know where she's at? You know, they all know where each other is at. They all talk still, but she disappears. Which is and yeah, I do remember that. And if you can try, like you know, contact if you have past like relevant to the thing. You're like, oh hey, I know a guy from this place or whatever. Hmm. Not 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 anything on really on on my end there. To be honest, all right. With you. you know, I will actually I will put some calls out to uh, fellow journalists from my contact list to see if they know anything about this Jennifer person that was hanging out with this particular group of scions. All right. Yeah. You can make a few calls and they said they'll get back to you in a few minutes. Okay. Thanks guys. No problem. And so, yeah, you pull up to uh, Hikaru's apartment. Uh, no, it's a house actually. It's like a small, smaller house. Looks very neat, very tidy. Uh, everything is uh, the, the lawn and everything's all very nicely, uh, you know, uh, maintained. Everything's neat and orderly. Is it on the outside or is it the um, inside? What? Is that the outside of the apartment? Yeah, this, or is, the out, th- this okay. is the outside of the house, actually. It's a small house. Okay. Um, let's kind of make my way over to the top and like kind of give like a timid knock on the door. Y- yes. Y- y- yeah, the door is unlocked. You, you can come in. Okay. I open the door then. Yeah, as you open it, there's like a small, uh, small, small dog, Sheba. Comes just, just like, you know, starts wagging its tail at you. I bend over and pet it. Yeah, it's you know it's very happy to you know just have someone pay attention to it. Oh, who are you? Who are you? You see, like a little dog collars, like just called Momo. Momo, oh, you're so cute. I stroke the dog more, and like while I'm doing that, kind of look around and survey the apartment. Yeah, you can definitely tell like it's uh, it's very like very clean. So much that it doesn't look like anyone lived in it. It's just. Like you know, everything's everything's put away very neatly. All the dishes are just, like everything's like packed. Like there's no crumbs or anything. Everything looks like it's you know someone just moved in. Honestly, it's very neat. 
and you um, can see like there's a woman sitting sitting inside on the ca- near, near a couch on like a dinner, like a small coffee table, just like sort of just staring off into space. I look behind like, a couple of movie posters and like a like a sword and a, like a katana and a smaller Japanese sword on the wall. You, know, you recognize those like movie props though. Yeah, um, I look behind me to see if the rest of the gang is following in. I'm coming up there, definitely. Right there behind you, man. Yeah. I kind of, like, move past the dog and, and kind of like, Hello, Ikaru? Yes, yes, I, I mean, you can just come in and we can talk. Oh, hello again, folks. I'd like to tell you about the Facebook group we run called White Wolf and Onyx Path RPGs Gameplay and Media. Have you ever wished you could have an easy way to find gameplay videos and podcasts or just media in general that deals with your favorite White Wolf role-playing games? Or have you ever wished you could find a forum to share gameplay that you have recorded? One that won't be drowned out by random posts and discussions so that your media could give the attention you deserve. The group is specifically run with the sole intent of being a one-stop shop for people to view or share media involving the games we all love. We take thorough steps to ensure the page does not become cluttered and is easy to traverse. The group is already immense and continuing to rapidly grow, with new media being shared every day. Stop on by. We hope to see you there.